Hi guys, how you doing? Um, welcome back to Creative Tap. It's John, and I've got another tutorial here for you today. Um, <clears throat> now, what we've got going on here is um, we've got two layers. One of them is just um, a head, a head shape, and then I filled that with different bits of text, kind of warp into the shape of it. Um, so, just got a yeah, like a human head, and I've kind of warped this these bits of text to it. So, um, in order to start this tutorial, what I'd say is what you need to do if you're going to go with the head, um, just you can get some sort of clip art or kind of a silhouette from Google Images, side of a head, trace around it just with a pen tool, and um, then then you've got you know just a basic shape. Okay, um, so that's kind of what you need to start. You can do it with anything, any shape really. Um, but what I would say is, is get that done first of all. If you haven't um, learned how to use the pen tool to kind of trace objects, I've got two tutorials, one on how to use the pen tool and another on how to make any character in Illustrator, the Diddy Kong, um, Diddy Kong one. So go ahead and have a go at that, but literally just drag in an image of a silhouette of a head in, tracing it, picking a skin colour, <clears throat> and you're ready to go. So, what I'm going to do for you is um, I'm going to start with this, so I'm going to turn off my layer 2, let's just rename it, so head shape and then we'll call this head text old, okay so we'll pull out the bottom, don't even need that, so this is what we've got, now what we want to do, if I, if I do quickly turn this back on, if we just use the whole shape head, right, for one piece of text, let's say the word forehead, the F would be huge, and it would be kind of all warped around this whole kind of outline. And then it, it just wouldn't look very good. So what we're going to do is actually split this head up into a top shape where we'll put the word cranium. This shape, sort of oblong shape by here, where it does conform to the edges. You can see it sort of bends around the eyebrow kind of or eye socket, but there. Then for the nose, if I would put the, the word ear across, it would be very slanted because it's got this line to abide to and then this line. So I put the word nose up there, just split that into one shape by there. And then I've got the word ear going sort of across kind of here. Then word lips we've got going across. And I did a little bit of jiggery pokery. That's a technical term. Uh, Doctor Who reference there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a little bit of uh, jiggery pokery just to make sure it doesn't like warp to the absolute edges. I'll show you how to do that. Then we've got the chin. The C fits quite nicely in there. The word chin in this area and the word neck by here. So just to show you how it was kind of done. Um, no, I can't anymore. Okay, great. That's fine. Um, so, what I'm going to do, now I've got this head shape, I'm going to go to a new layer. And I'm going to get my pen tool and just draw, it can be quite rough, but I'm just going to draw a series of shapes, okay? So, shape across here, across here, and more or less kind of trace what I've already kind of got. But we're going to do it in sections. So, just something along the lines of that. And I'll colour the shape, um, just a blue, something like that. That's one shape. Next thing we're going to do is the, is the next bit. So come down to here, kind of trace as best you can, kind of a bend in round. And um, let's alt click this handle to make sure we're drawn across. Come across to here and up. And again, I'm going to alt click this handle so it goes across. And we're going to come back across like so. Okay, I'm going to just, to make it easy, I'm going to give this another colour. Um, for the nose, <clears throat> I'm going to come down here, come around, and maybe sort of alt-click this handle in a bit, come around to about maybe here, um, come up to there, and across. Now let's give that a different colour. It's fine that they're all on the same layer. Um, they should be. So next we're going to come down... Come down to about there, come across, gonna work our way up, bend it round, alt click to make this come over, and come back across. Okay, I could move that tool, no, that anchor point up a little bit really. There we go. Okay, now the next one is gonna be these lips. So I will draw to the contortions or whatever the word is, to the contours. Of, of the lips by here, quite roughly. Um, pull this handle back out, or maybe not. Something like this. Come round, and I think we'll go down as far as maybe about but there. 
come across, so I'll hold shift to make sure it's a perfect line, come all the way up, and up to about by here, I think, and alt click this handle round and come back across. Okay, oh, I haven't been uh, recoloring my shapes, so I'm trying to do this as quick as I can, just so we can get into the real stuff. Um, but it is better to kind of um, get different covers in there, just so we know what's going on. Okay, <clears throat> then two more shapes. We've got this one. Let's come around. Come around like so. So the word, I think chin, will end up going in there. Um, just alt click this handle, so we've got a straight line. Then finally, change colour. Okay, and then finally we've got this neck at the bottom. Okay, now we're nearly there. So let's come across. And you can, again, you can do this with any shape, doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you split it up into kind of easy chunks. Um, and let's get something like that. Okay, so zooming out, this is what we've got split into all different shapes. Now, what we want to do, get our text tool. I'm going to type cranium for the top of the head. Actually, I'm going to go for capitals for that. Cranium. Um, let's have a play around with, I think actually that font will do for now. You can choose whatever font you want. Um, just make sure there's quite a legible font. Makes it kind of easier. So yeah, that's going to work. So what you want to do is come into your layer three. You've got all these sub layers, okay? You want to make sure that Cranium or the text layer is directly above your path. So this is our, this is our path that we want to um, sort of link it to. Then what you want to do is see this little box by here it indicates that that's selected so you can click through and select different ones but what we want is to select both of them so if you click the click this head path and then shift click the top one it's now got them both selected and that's been indicated by this little green box yours may be different color it depends what color your layer is which is indicated here like red blue green then what we want to do is object envelope distort and make with top object Okay, this requires selection of both objects, and um, they are selected, so I don't know why that's doing that. So, object, envelope distort, make with top object. Okay, tell you what it is, your text goes below, so shift, select them both again, put your text below, sorry about that. Object, envelope distort, and make with top object. And there you go, cranium is being warped to this shape. And you can see now we've actually lost the path, but it's just the word envelope in that sort of clipping path. Okay, so if I zoom in, what you can do if you're not happy with the shape is get this um, direct selection tool and you can actually modify and pull the handles of these points and you can see as I do so, you can see that everything's getting kind of warped, okay? So you can go in and further refine this. I'm not gonna spend too long actually doing this, but just so you are aware, this is something that you can do. Okay, so select that, get the handle, Get this handle, and you can kind of um, play around to your heart's content. So all I'm going to do now is kind of go through this process again. Um, so I'm going to type the word, I think this time, forehead, or all head. <clears throat> forehead, okay. And this time, just make sure that your text is below that path, not on top. Sorry, my bad. Shift select, so you've got forehead selected and shift select the path. Okay, now we're just going to go object and envelope distort, make with top object, and great. Now we have got a bit of an issue here with the F, okay? So this is where I'll bring in my direct selection tool, and basically you want to just play around with these um, handles, okay? So if I start pulling this and pulling this, oh, and what I may do is go in, uh, if you run into this problem, get the anchor point tool, click and drag out so we got these handles okay and then you can kind of play around with them so click and drag so we've got ooh, these handles and now I can get my direct selection tool I'm going to play around bring this out get this one drag it out and what you can even do is start to straighten up this edge as well just you know if, if it's can go into the contours of the full head it may start to look a bit funky um, so I'm just going to alt select that one and that F's looking a lot better 
The D could do with a little bit of adjustment, so let's bring these anchor points in, first of all. Um, not the handles, so bring the anchor points in. And then let's get my convert anchor point tool, or my, sorry, my anchor point tool. Just drag out so we've got some handles to play around with. And get my direct selection tool. I'm going to alt click this handle just to give it a little bit of a bend and a little bit of a bend here. And that's looking a lot better. So it doesn't necessarily, you could probably give it more of a bend here actually, um, just to kind of just to kind of make it fit a little bit better. So alt click. There you go. And it does start looking a little bit thin actually. I think that's more or less okay there. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next one. Uh, next one's the nose. So if you get your text tool, type nose. Um, I'm, what, I'm, what I will do is kind of um, oop, is get this and rotate it so that it's kind of lining up with the kind of angle of my nose by here. Then drag the nose below this path. Shift select so they're both selected. Object, envelope distort, make with top object. And yeah, I, I'm going to leave that, I think, more or less, just so I can whiz through. Obviously, I've shown you how to kind of modify it. So next one, um, I can't even remember what I called this. Ear, isn't it? Yeah. Just, you know, kind of where the ear is, I guess. Um, shift select, object, envelope distort, make with top. Um, may kind of get these, just bring this, just bring this one over a little bit and alt click here alt click in here get this okay maybe straighten straighten it up a little bit but you know you've kind of seen when i've done it before you can kind of modify it to your heart's content next one's going to be a little, little bit of a tricky one the lips so i'll just walk through this one so lips lips below the path shift select them both object envelope distort make with top and you know you can see we're having a bit of a wild time by here so what we want to do is come into the clipping path i'm actually going to start straightening this up because you know it's a little bit too wild um it, stylistically you could keep it if you wanted to there's no problem with that um but this little indent by here it's given us a little bit of a trippy time really um so i would probably spend some time actually making this a little bit more straight because it's not the best really is it um, and you can see it can start to go a little bit wild so I'm just going to come up here bring this in a touch bring this one in a touch stuck in a little bit straighter and again with these um, sort of handles by here using alt click to kind of just straighten things up can kind of sometimes really help <clears throat> bring this one in, bring this one in. I'm not going to play around with this too much, to be honest, because I really want to kind of, don't want to waste too much time. But you can kind of play around with your heart's content there. Um, so the next one, and you can kind of make it warp to that if, if you so wish, but for me it just wasn't working. So next one is chin, select, drag below, um, shift select them both object um, envelope distort make with top this should be oh, I thought it would be pretty much uh, pretty much worked out but apparently not so I'm gonna drag <clears throat> get my direct selection tool click the point and kind of start dragging things around until I see something that's gonna work um, something along the lines <clears throat> excuse me my voice is going something along the lines of this um, I would actually drag these paths in so let's get my convert or my anchor point tool. Uh, where are the anchor points? Where are they? I've lost them now. Great, yeah, they are. Okay, and then it's been dragged quite away, so I would start playing with this one. Um, alt click and drag this kind of out. Drag this. You can again, like I said, you can end up playing around. To your heart's content. I think this one needs to come over actually. Yeah, this one needs to come over like so. <clears throat> Drag this handle in. There we go. And we'll start getting something which will kind of fit a lot better. Mine's a little bit muddled up at the moment. 
but again like I said I don't want to spend too much of your time on this tutorial um, kind of faffing about so just go with something like that that's yeah, looking alright um, it's just to see I would spend more time on finally then let's type the word neck um, move this below shift select them both like we've done before object envelope distort make with top object and again we've got issues um, but the more and more you do this and play around with these parts, the parts can be confusing the first time around. Um, if you are finding them confusing, what I would do, um, that pen tool, to, I've got a pen tool tutorial up there, and it kind of illustrates kind of what paths are doing in Photoshop, and no, in Illustrator, sorry, and how you can kind of better control them. And so I'd have a go at that if you are struggling, and I'd also um, kind of give the, maybe the... Um, got a tutorial Diddy Kong it's another kind of um, how to create any character it's called it's, it basically shows you how to use that um, pen tool a lot more better if you kind of get me I've just completely undone everything we do make envelope okay so again I kind of messed up there I'd be dragging these points what other points have I got going on number here so convert anchor Keep on, I keep on calling it Convert Anchor Tool. Um, it's actually not called Convert Anchor Tool, it's just called Anchor Tool. Um, kind of make that a bit straighter, make this one a little bit straighter. We've got that coming out by there, haven't we? So I move that round and this one round. And yeah, you can carry on playing round. Um, I'm not going to do so just because I don't want to take too much time. Like I said, it's kind of getting there now. It's just this little point by here. It is being a little bit awkward. So actually if we move this one down by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of you can have it again go to the contortions of the uh, neck. Sometimes it may work, sometimes it may not. Um, but it just takes a lot of playing around really until you can kind of work out what's gonna work. Um, you know, that's kind of looking a little bit better now. So once you've done that, you can either um, oh, let's call this text head and then you can either turn this off or you can keep it on um, but that's basically how to split an object up into loads of different parts this one isn't the best I do prefer the old one I did um, it's kind of more eligible especially the word lips um, but again don't want to spend too much time you've got the skills now so um, yeah cheers for tuning in check out the rest of our tutorials and um, subscribe to our Facebook, subscribe to the channel, hopefully see you again soon. Cheers, bye.